Okay, here we go. First stage is a race through the Golden Gate. Eight cars, one champion. And the name of the game is Speed, Speed, Speed. Come on, show me what that hypercar can do. Cruise up I-5 and spend weekends in San Francisco back when I was racing out of L.A. The streets are empty today because of Chinese New Year. So, take advantage. Something in the road ahead. Careful now. Chinese Zodiac. Today marks the beginning of the year of the rabbit. Rabbits are fast, and rabbits are lucky. So I'd say the year's off to an auspicious start. Down in LA, the race scene is all about five lane freeways and long, empty boulevards. Now here in SF, it's about the hills. A lot of drivers can't handle this city, but I know you relish a challenge. Look at that, New Year's fireworks.
Hope you enjoyed this little jaunt, because once we start heading toward the mountains, it's gonna be a whole different kind of game, huh? We got lucky with the weather in the Bay Area. I have to say, I don't think that rabbit luck is gonna last long. When skis and snowboards are coming downhill, you can guess what awaits further up. Visibility is dropping to nearly zero out there. seems harder to concentrate. That's why. Just focus on the road. Focus and give this puppy all you got. Okay, we made it through the worst of the storm. Good news is the weather's about to clear up. Bad news is there's snow everywhere now, and these mountain roads are twisty as hell.
I'm looking at the latest from the National Weather Service, and it sounds like the roads are still passable. The issue's gonna be how twisted these roads are. It might be like ice skating on the edge of a cliff, so take it slow if you have to, but make sure you stay out in front. First the dust storm, then the blizzard. Wonder if those gods of the desert whispered about you to the gods of the mountain. But well, hopefully they're all in cahoots with the gods of victory, right? race is right on brand for our little racing club. Our whole thing is taking the world's best street racers and shoving them into utterly bonkers racing situations. I'd say this qualifies. turn after blind turn, the real opposite of ideal racing conditions, huh? So don't panic, but FYI, your engine's starting to overheat from the climb. Just get to the top, and the weather should cool it down before the next leg. You're rocking this. Just keep going. Welcome to the summit. I know that was probably like sledding uphill, but you made it to the peak. Of course, what drives up must drive down. Hope you're ready for a fun descent.
Okay, you're about to cruise down a highway that cuts through the eastern half of the Rockies and into a national forest. The challenge here is tunnels. Coming in and out of the darkness can turn the sun into a strobe light. Don't get disoriented. It happens way more than you think. about oncoming traffic, especially around these blind turns. by those lighting changes. I once saw a guy flip his spider over the center divide because he couldn't see where the tunnel was. It was all right, but what a waste of a car. taking a blind turn and seeing a hyper car speeding toward you on a blind turn. Speeds are much more respectable now that we got traction again. Of course, that's true for everyone else, too, huh? Just remember that rabbit. Push for speed and pray for luck all the way to the finish. about our organization before you'd won the qualifier. But it's our cardinal rule. We never talk about it. Hope you understand why. about a million dollar view. We're down in the valley now. No more snow banks to deal with. Just a few very good drivers and one final race to a destination I think you're gonna appreciate.
Here we go. The final leg. You'll be cruising into mining country soon and toward a very special finish line. Keep your eyes peeled for shortcuts. And whatever else happens, win this race for us. Ah, you just entered the national park. Watch out for park rangers. They have total authority here. We don't need some upstart mountain man trying to slow us down. Keep your eyes open. Something's blocking the road up there. hills were full of gold back in the 1800s. Most of these mines were abandoned ages ago, which is why we were able to buy the one you're going to see in the finish line. chance to prove that everything that we've gone through together was worth the goddamn effort and that I know how to pick up bring it home Answered my call without question. You hung in there through dust storms and blinding blizzards. You had the courage to follow me into the unknown, and now you seized the chalice at our secret headquarters. Your prize awaits right here in this cave. But what you've really earned today is respect, especially mine.